I thought this was just one of the coolest um, uh, ways of just a very smart teen adventure story going through some of the real myths that inform our lives today. Medusa was a priestess in the temple of Athena and famous for her very long, beautiful hair. And she is seduced sort of against her will by Poseidon, who is Percy Jackson's father. Uh, and this is all in her past. But then, just like the Greek myths, which really demonstrate sort of the unfairness of the laws and, and, and uh, some of the unfairness of human feelings and human emotions, because the Greek gods are so kind of human in a lot of ways, Athena is just enraged that another woman is, is desired by Poseidon in her temple. And she's so outraged by this that she curses this girl by transforming her famously beautiful hair into live writhing snakes and giving her a, a gaze which turns her victims to stone. I first met Logan when I was arriving to do some preparatory work and, um, and meet some real snakes, which we did in the rehearsal period, which was a lot of fun. But there was Logan, and I just my hat was off to him to see such a dedicated young actor. He was all hot and, you know, had been working hard, learning his sword work, and that's something I've done myself in the past, so I know how hard it is. Um, and to see the kind of dedication and focus in a young actor uh, was really impressive to me. And, and also, he was a really lovely guy. Which is why, in rehearsal, Chris and I had someone, a snake wrangler, bring in a whole number of live snakes, which we handled and played with. Um, just because I wanted to get a realistic, I sort of thought it would be funny to just sort of imagine, even though she's sort of a demigod herself, but to imagine how heavy, you know, it would be. Like, what do these things weigh? You know, they weigh a lot. Um, and so I, I really enjoyed kind of, because I haven't done a lot of that kind of special effect work either, um, I really enjoyed relating to the snakes. 